And here we go. We got a flag out in the hands of Lunchbox. And here we go. We're going to Lunchbox's screen. Meanwhile, Roy and Walsh, they're back at their base. They're going to try and give Lunchbox some cover. Lunchbox got the flag really far, so we're going to see if they can capitalize on it. Let's go on board with Lunchbox's twin brother. He's doing a lot of damage top middle, but Ogre 2 is going to shut him down. Walsh stays alive, though, and so does the flag. Finally, final boss being able to make that return. But I really thought right there, Sun Nance, that Instinct had a great opportunity to score a second flag. It looked like it, but again, you know, final boss sticking to their game plan. When the flag's out, remember, every time that Instinct pulls the flag and gets it across the map, it's also a disruptor. So it's time that Final Boss isn't spending focusing on capping, they're focusing on returning their flag. So that's part of Instinct's gameplay style. They just keep you off balance. All right, well, here you're watching Walshy here, but right next to him, we got Roy picking up double kills, and I'm going to Lunchbox. He's got the sniper rifle. And Lunchbox has got the sniper here, top middle. Soviet's moving down low. And Lunchbox, he's going to take heavy fire from Neighbor, and he's got to jump the sniper rifle oh, off. Or hit Neighbor oh, in the belly 30, with it. 30, 30, 30. <laughs> you know, I, thought, I thought Lunchbox for sure was dead. Neighbor was chasing after him. He wanted that sniper rifle. But Lunchbox poked out and caught him in the stomach. And now he's raining fire down from across the map. There he's on a killing spree. We got another flag moving in his twin brother's hands. It's Roy. And now Lunchbox moving towards the man cannon side, trying to give him more cover. All four members of Instinct alive, but all four Ooh. members of Final Boss are as well. And they were... You were checking out as the flag was trying to move in the hands of Soviet. And Soviet's got the flag moving towards his man cannon, and here he goes. If he can get this over, this could be oh, huge. As no. Lunchbox is in the Final Boss base, picking up big double kills. But I do not think this one is coming back. We're going to jump on board with Neighbor, actually. Oh. He picks up the beatdown. He's got the flag return. That was clutch because he had no shield, Sonny. That was big time. That's Neighbor at his best. That's what he does. He comes up with amazing plays like that. His reaction time off the charts. All right, well, Neighbor actually seemed to really struggle except for that huge move so far. I want to check out what is going on with Final Boss. What's going wrong with their game so far? And what can they do to turn it around? Nice teamwork there by the Ogres and Neighbor pushing up as a threesome. Soviet's got the sniper down low, so Neighbor's just going to put a shot on him and ignore. Meanwhile, it looks like it's 30 seconds until the new sniper rifle's coming up. So it'll be interesting to see whether Final Boss goes for a flag cap or if they go for the setup and trying to get the new power weapons. And Ogre 2's going to take down Soviet. Ogre 1 is there to protect Neighbor. Neighbor waiting for his shields to come back. Here's Lunchbox. Oh. Lunchbox with a clutch kill Lunchbox here. Lunchbox just stepping it up so far, having a great game. And, uh, yeah, we're going to Ogre 2 right now because uh, he's the only one alive, and he's got to stop this instinct rush because they got the flag going out. It's Walshy once again. Oh, but Walshy gets stuck here. And it looks like Roy, the only player in position to go back for that flag. But I think Ogre 1's getting the flag return right now. So final boss. They've had their flag out at least 10 times here at Sundance. Yep. But time and time again, they're able to step it up one player at a time, and someone is going clutch. Who do you want to check out? Uh, I'd love to see Ogre 1. But we got him right now. He's over here. He's doing some damage. I uh, read yeah, your brain. He's, you did. You're smart like that. You know me really well. But, you know, <laughs> but I'm an easy read. I'm not that complicated. If they're going to have a shot at winning this event, I think Ogre 1 is the player that I'm going to key on because he's got to really go off. He's got to show us that you know, he's at the top of this game and he's in his groove. If, if he's able to do that, then that's going to motivate his brother. It's going to motivate strong side. And you know what? He's got the ability. We've seen him do it you know, year after year. Right now, all four dead for final boss. But Instinct not in a position to do much. But every time Instinct's pulling the flag, remember, it's, it's, it's a, a disruption of, of strategy for final boss. And final boss right now, other than one time, has failed to get the flag past the halfway point on the map. That's right, and so Final Boss is really going to have to step it up here. They're going to have to start working as a team better. They're going to have to actually start slaying. Right now, I'm seeing they're getting out slayed. I'm seeing Roy pick up double kills over and over again. Those kills are being supported by Soviet and Wall Street, always distracting here in the top middle. Meanwhile, Lunchbox, he was doing Ooh. some dirty with the sniper, but so is this guy. Neighbor is heating up right now, Sundance. This he just killed need. a member, grabbed his sniper rifle, and now he's got nine more shots to work with. Here's Wall Street, top middle, two no-scopes. No. Oh, oh, and Walshy clutched it there. That's a huge play out of Walshy right there. 
and Walsh is going to get fired up after that. A little bit of a choke there on Neighbors' part. We're going back on board with Lunchbox once again inside the final boss base. How are they able to just keep sneaking in? Because they're sneaky beavers. Well, it looks like Ogre One, he's not so uh, anti-stealthy either. He's got to fly out <laughs> anti-stealthy. Put that anti one in your dictionary. Like he wears sneakers. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's Ogre 2 versus Lunchbox. Huge Ooh. BR win there for Ogre 2. So while she went in a big BR battle, now it was Ogre 2's turn. And Neighbor, he's going to try and keep the flag alive. You see him pushing it back towards his teammate top middle. Now he's going to push in with the Rockets. And final boss is going to be putting this one in. We're jumping on board with Ogre 1. He's taking fire. Oh. He stopped short. Strong side going for it. He's going to be stopped, but Ogre 2 is there to put it in. Tied up one to one. And that's with just two minutes left in regulation. Huge play out of Final Boss Clutch. They're able to you know, execute, get the flag across, and now they've got another flag out. Yeah, neighbor's running the flag right now. And we're gonna jump on board with him. He's actually oh. getting taken down. We're going to strong side. Strong side, last member alive for Final Boss momentarily. He's gonna keep the flag alive. Huge play by oh Strong Side. Goodness. Perfect timing, waiting for his overshield and oh. his opponent to leave. Neighbors down here, down low. It's gotta stop Walshy. And Walshy once again able to do a lot of damage, but there is Ogre 2 and Instinct. They're gonna keep the flags alive. So the Final Boss flag out, but it's not far. Ogre 2. Trying to get the return from above, but the flag is moving behind him towards the man cannon. No, Roy's running it bottom middle. We're jumping on board with Roy. Oh my He's goodness. taking heavy fire from behind. Oh. He's going to be taken down. Lunchbox's twin Over brother it. trying to keep it alive. And neighbor's clutch once again. Whoa. They were so good. I'm out of breath. I'm. <laughs> this <laughs> is so insane. <laughs> I can't believe the amount of action, the amount of back and forth momentum pushes we've been seeing. Oh, my neighbor just barely seeing the top of his opponent's head and catches Walshie with a nice headshot there from the sniper rifle. All three of his teammates moving in. A big double kill there from Ogre 2, picking up an assassination and then out BRing Soviet. And that is going to be three down. Oh, Make it four down here for strong. Instinct. Here comes Walshie and neighbor continuing to do the damage. Ogre 1 cleaning it up. But the flag is still out, but no one is moving it. And we're Gotta jumping. be careful of the counter cap here. Yeah. And there we have it. Instinct shutting down that one. Lunchbox, he's picking up some killjoys, and now it's going to be Instinct's turn. Like he just said, final boss had to be careful of the counter cap. Instinct attempted it, but nice play there by Strong Side to take him down. And check oh. out the stick from Soviet. <laughs> oh, that was nasty. Soviet clamping plasma grenades onto Ogre One's ankles, and now he's picking up a beatdown on strong side. No shield, pushes into the sniper. He is playing extremely aggressive right now. And great awareness. And yes, we are past the 15 minute mark, so it is sudden death. The next flag will win the game. See some fresh rockets in Lunchbox's hands. And Roy's got a sniper top middle, so two oh, power weapons my. for Instinct. Walshy is alive to protect as well. Walshy actually sitting back at his base trying to do some defense because Strong Side and friends are in that area. Are you kidding me? Strong wow. is going to get oh, BR by Soviet back at his base. The flag's still alive in Walshy's hands. There's one member alive on the map for final boss, and this is going to be it. No one in position to stop Walshy, and the Walshy champ begins oh. as Instinct takes game. Game one here. Game one. You think I, whoa. Soviet, 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 Soviet. Did you see that dirty, Farouk? That was insane. He's three players engaging with him. Shields down, wins two battles. Able to keep the flag alive, that was just insane. Wow, so Instinct 1-0 over final boss after more than 15 minutes. And we got to take a look at these stats here. We had three players from Instinct putting up close to 30 kills. You got 31 coming from Lunchbox. Roy, he's there with 28. And Soviet having one of his best games of the weekend with 29 kills and a huge play at the end of that one. Uh, that was just clutch after play after clutch play. We saw Neighbor coming up huge for his team time and time again. Walshy there being the disruptor. But Soviet at the end there just went nuts. I mean, that was a great first game. I can't imagine what we're going to see next. Yeah, and we're going to see game two when we come back next. Final balls and instinct.